Hi. I have another triangle box today. This one came from clear across the country. And this is uh, part of an exchange that I'm doing with a friend. Um, I am working towards making my version of, of this type of flute. It has kind of the old ancient Pueblo style tuning in a more modern Native American style flute mouthpiece. because it's easier to play than the old rim-blown flutes, which this is one of. So, I think you might be able to see that this is completely hollow. You have to make it make sound And I've never tried one of this particular manufacturer's. Let me see if I can make it make a sound. This one that I've had for a while. Uh, this is, uh, it's not marked, this one is supposed to be in the key of G sharp and I'm going to be making this style of flute in this key and so this is going to help me um, tune, get measurements and everything for the finger hole placement and um, I'm going to also be attempting to raise the finger holes a little bit on the bore, which will make them a little smaller. And that won't be, that won't be a big problem. Um, so that it is e easier to reach when, I, when we add that other type of mouthpiece. So, this is a Jeffrey Ellis basket maker flute is what I believe this one's called. So I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and I was finally able to get a sound out of it. Each one of these is a little bit different and I haven't used his mouthpiece. It's, um, it definitely requires me to hold the flute up at, at a, uh, a steeper angle than the one I'm used to. This looks like it's made from Alaskan yellow cedar. Beautiful looking flute. So hopefully I'll get that other one made and off to him really soon. Thanks for watching.